So it says, when you're ready to go, your first stop is sculpture. So all we got to do sculpture. Okay. is so get in we'll a sculpture about... state of mind. Okay. All right. You think you right. can pull that This is going to take some concentration, I okay. think. Okay. All right. Ready? All right. Whoa. Did we make it? Whoa. Well, it's a sign that says sculpture in heaven, so I guess we did. Yes. Oh, so what did, what did Swedenborg say about sculpture in the spiritual world? Uh, let's see here. Talks about Swedenborg witnessing amazing sculptors at their work in the spiritual world. It has a quote from Secrets of Heaven 552. I love quotes. I saw that certain angelic spirits, using the greatest possible care, were making an ornate lampstand with its lamps and flowers in the Lord's honor. For an hour or two, I was allowed to observe how hard they worked to make absolutely everything beautiful and full of significance. They felt that the labor was their own, but I was able to sense clearly that they could invent nothing by their own power. Finally, several hours later, they said they had succeeded in making a gorgeous lampstand with all its representative art in honor of the Lord. And at this, they rejoiced from the depths of their being. So it's so cool that, that the divine is this integral part of the process, but that actually adds joy to the whole thing. And that when they're sculpting, it's not just an exercise mm. in aesthetics, there's meaning in everything. Like if you have a piece of art, oh. It's not just like, let's fill up some, we gotta put this alpha omega here to fill space, get the rule of thirds, but there is meaning in it, that this is representing something Somebody's deeper. Somebody's thinking about these rays of light and the alpha and omega, the clouds and the trees, and, and so their thought is engaged as well in the creation of this thing. Yeah. Right, and they're putting symbolism into it and all right. that. It's, it's very cool. It's serving as a conduit or a manifestation of some kind of deeper reality. It's got a use, it's got a purpose, you know, mm. like everything. Right, And now, but what about this, Curtis? Like, what oh, is that? You don't know what that is? This is a 3D replica of one of Swedenborg's ornaments that he included in his theological Check works. Check it out. Yeah, surprised you didn't, uh, weren't already aware of that. Huh. So what does it mean, do you Look think? at that. Well, it has Latin up at the top that says cura et labore, and that means with care and work. And so there's an angel watering the garden here, and that's how you get things done. That's how you make a heavenly paradise. Yeah. So it wasn't really just cool. a, a stamp he put on, it's a reminder to himself, you gotta work on this, and that's how you get yeah, something accomplished. As far as we know, Swedenborg actually engraved this himself. He was an engraver, he'd worked as an engraver for the inventor Paul Hem. And uh, so it's cool to think, and he used it on eight different title pages of his works. Yeah. So it was something important to him. And even that six-sided fountain that's in there, like represented eternity, I've been told. And, and so there was symbolism and things in, in it all. It's all about cultivation, yeah. you know? And with care and work is how you make your garden grow. But it's very cool that someone actually took this that's in 2D and turned it into 3D right. in this sculpture. Yeah, and, and for a use, everything, heaven is a kingdom of uses. So every detail of these heavenly sculptures has got to have something for 